hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how we can uh, convert uh, metahuman dna bone expressions to morph targets while preserving the dna read logic uh, to uh, interpolate within the morph targets right so we preserve the metahuman functionality but uh, we replace uh, bone expressions from dna with the uh, morph targets right so let's see how this goes we're just uh, gonna open uh, our metahuman head into poser and uh, here we can uh, let's uh, move a little bit this animation cursor tab here so we can see a little bit better and uh, for uh, uh, now we have to select all expressions that uh, we want to convert uh, to morph targets and then uh, we will unselect some of them right so let's uh, let's see how this goes uh, we will deselect the logic off and on. This is used uh, in uh, control rig, so we don't need to convert this uh, DNA bone expression to morph target. It's not an actual DNA bone expression. And now uh, that uh, we've uh, selected uh, everything, we can go ahead and uh, click on to morph targets. Uh, we don't need to have a suffix, we need to preserve the name exactly as uh, for our animation curve. So we will delete, delete uh, the curve suffix and uh, we just press OK. This is going to take a little bit because we have to convert all these bone expressions to morph targets, right? So be patient. OK, now that uh, morph targets... Uh, uh, expression uh, to morph target conversion is done. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, if uh, we go to Persona and uh, we load the uh, AR kit animation, we're gonna see something weird here, right? Uh, we will see that we have the expressions now, they look very odd. That's because they're doubled, right? They are enabled by morph target because now these uh, curves contain. Uh, mesh data, uh, deltas and uh, we also have a bone movement right from the DNA with logic uh, functionality so uh, let's uh, let's uh, move forward and uh, let's see what we can do here right so if uh, we check out uh, our morph targets newly created morph targets here we can uh, search for look right and we have look up let's uh, use the restore tool and uh, let's uh, restore the eyes in all these lookup uh, morph targets, right? So let's uh, apply restore. We don't need to move uh, uh, or rotate these uh, eyeballs of, from the metahumans because we will use bones for that, right? We want to rot rotate the eyes by using bones, but the rest of the functionality will be only morph targets so let's see how this works right let's uh, let's uh, continue with our conversion here let's uh, let's uh, go to uh, restore tool uh, let's uh, select the eyes and uh, let's apply restore and uh, let's uh, move forward Okay, now that uh, we have uh, restored the eye uh, rotation in all this uh, look uh, morph targets, let's save the mesh. And uh, let's uh, get back to Persona. And with, uh, if we test it uh, now, we're going to have the same expression movement, right? For this, we have to open post process. Let's go to post process. Let's load it. And here we have this animation node rig logic. We will add a custom animation node rig logic. Rig logic, which is animation node rig logic no bones. This will allow us to, to customize a little bit uh, more what's going on, right? So let's expose it as a pin and uh, let's uh, plug this in as well and uh, let's uh, plug our uh, uh, execution path in and uh, let's uh, go back to poser right so if we search for i in the poser we get the name for right eye and we add uh, the bone 
in here because we want to get the rotation for the eyes from the rig logic but only for the eyes right we don't want to move uh, the bones for the entire face only uh, for the eyes so let's get uh, the left eye as well actually it's easier if we just replace r with l so let's do like this and we will choose ignore unselected so whatever is not in this list uh, will not be updated from rig logic what's in this list will be updated right so let's compile and let's go back to persona here and uh, let's test out what is going on so now we will see that our expressions are not uh, double down and we get the rotation let's uh, show the bones uh, character bones all hierarchy maybe and let's uh let's make uh, everything a little bit uh small here and maybe reduce the camera speed so we can see better what's going on so now we will see that our eyes rotate because of the bone movement from rig logic but the rest of the expressions are only morph targets triggered by the same rig logic right so this is it for our uh, video here uh, don't forget you can go crazy with any logic you can do whatever you you think uh, fits uh, your character here uh, this is just an example don't take this as uh, the only thing you can do you can do whatever it's up to you uh, what logic if you need this logic how you create this uh, stuff around right and how you build around it and uh, yeah this is it guys i hope you enjoy this uh, new uh, functionality in mesh morpher i hope uh, you can create some uh, crazier stuff now that uh, you have no bone movement and uh, you're not bound to bone movement but you can go only with uh, morph targets right so this is it guys and uh, see you around bye